हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज ऑफ एस ए पी एच डी ट्रेनिंग इन एस फॉर हाना सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड अ डिस्कशन अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ एस ए पी एंड बेसिक्स ऑफ एस ए पी एच डी एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एस ए पी एच डी द मेजर फीचर्स ऑफ एस ए पी एच डी बेनिफिट्स ऑफ एस ए पी एच डी एंड टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द ओ टू सी प्रोसेस दैट इज ऑर्डर टू कैश प्रोसेस ओके सो हियर इन दिस स्लाइड आई हैव मैंशनड द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑर्डर टू कैश सो हाउ वॉट आर ऑल द प्रोसेस वी नीड टू डू एंड वॉट आर द डॉक्यूमेंट्स वी नीड टू क्रिएट टू परफॉर्म ऑर्डर टू कैश प्रोसेस इन एस ए पी एस डी सो फर्स्ट पार्ट इज द प्री सेल एक्टिविटी सो बेसिकली वैट हैपन्स हियर विल टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक लेट से इफ यू आर वर्किंग अंडर द सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स वेन वेन एवर यू आर डूइंग सॉरी सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग अंडर द सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन्स सो द कस्टमर विल एनक्वायर द प्रोडक्ट सो बेसिकली वेन बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द कस्टमर सो ही यूज टू एनक्वायर द प्रोडक्ट ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन द एनक्वायरी वी नीड टू जनरेट ए कोटेशन ओके we used to generate the quotation so one thing is we need to create first inquiry document so what products has been inquired by the customer okay and then how much quantity he requires so these two details will be included in the inquiry document so based on the inquiry the sales person will generate a quotation in the quotation uh, first the product details will be there okay then second uh, quantity then third will be price okay so based on the uh, enquiry so we used to generate the quotation so okay these two processes are called pre sales activity these two activity is called pre sales activity so here i have mentioned so pre sales activity so in this we are going to generate enquiry document and quotation document okay so once the quotation has been finalized so we used to generate sales order so basically sales order based on the customer requirement so based on the customer requirement we used to generate the sales uh, sales order so in the sales order so it contains uh, product details and the quantity and the pricing address of the customer okay so and many more uh, data we will be maintaining uh, to create the sales order so once the sales order has been confirmed so we used to generate uh, we used to create inventory sourcing process okay so in the inventory sourcing process so based on the sales order let's say a customer uh, require uh, a product one okay so once the sale, see, do, while generating the sales order it will check the availability of the material okay availability of the product okay so once the product is available okay automatically sales order will be confirmed okay if the product is not available means so we used to source the inventory so we used to produce the product later so once we get it so based on the production time uh, based on the procurement time so it will decide the delivery time okay. so then we, we see once we source the inventory once we source the product so we used to generate uh, we used to uh, um, issue the goods so we need to deliver the product to the customer okay so we need to de de deliver the product the customer so once the product has been delivered we need to generate based on the delivery document okay so in the billing the pricing will be fetched based on the sales order and the quantity of the product will be based on the delivery okay so once billing has been done final the payment will be taken care by fico consultants 
structs so see see uh, basically uh, we used to perform so as a sap sd consultant we used to perform free sales activity uh, sales order processing inventory sourcing see basically uh, uh, in the inventory sourcing and delivery we will be getting uh, picking and packing and transportation okay so all these will be taken care by sap sd consultant okay so we will execute all these processes in sap sd uh, platform in the next uh, uh, couple of minutes okay so hope you have understood about the order to cash process so once again i will repeat so basically in order to cash process first is pre sales activity pre sales activity will be performed so in the pre-sales activity, uh, we used to uh, create inquiry document. Okay, we used to create inquiry document. Then we used to create uh, quotation. So once quotation has been finalized, so we used to generate the sales order. So based on the sales order, so we used to perform sorry we used to uh, the delivery okay so uh, let's dive into next slide so here uh, ordered see as i have told you in the previous session so sap sd is integrated uh, with the different modules like here i have mentioned production plan material management fico okay so as you can observe here so based on the sales order see uh, if you're working under the sales and distribution see once the customer uh, confirms the material once the customer uh, requires the material we used to generate the sales order see here we have generated a sales order see based on the sales order see as i said you based on the availability of the material sales order is sales order is going to uh, confirm okay so suppose let's say if uh, the product uh, we have so as you can observe here so once the sales order is confirmed once the product is available so it will directly go for shipping okay so it will directly go for shipping let's say if you don't have the material so what happens it will directly go to the production plan so let's say if you if you if we don't have a uh specific product which has been required by the customer it will directly trigger to the uh, trigger to the material requirement planning for the production uh, department so based on the uh, requirement uh, generated by the customer uh, by the sales department production department um, sorry see uh, based on the requirement of the material the production department will plan to produce the product to produce the product the production department will create a production order receipt okay so to the material management department see the material management material management department will take care of all the procurement of the material based on the production okay so what happens so once the uh, mm uh, mm department uh, will receive the production order receipt okay so then the uh, they will uh, the pre uh, uh, consultant will generate a production order based on that they will supply the material to the vendor okay then the finance department will take care of all the financial activities uh, financial processes uh, or whoever want to uh, make the payments to the vendor so once uh, the material has been procured based on production planning so they will generate a goods receipt invoice and purchase order okay so once the production department receives the material from the material department uh, mm uh, procurement department so they will start producing the product later so once the product has been manufactured the sales department will confirms the sales order then the sales will happen and the the payment related the see in the sales after uh, uh, creating the sales order and shipment then the uh, payment will be taken care of finance department that is called receivable yeah. account okay so uh, this is how um, 
all the uh, uh, processes uh, are integrated with the SAP SD so as you can see here I have mentioned the material I see it will check the availability of the material so based on this availability we will transfer the material and we can issue uh, 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 goods to the sales order okay so this is how uh, uh, entire SAP uh, order to cash process will work with the integration of uh, MM uh, PP and FICO okay fine so let's dive into uh, the practical part so so give me a minute so in the next session so we will be discussing about what is enquiry document okay so enquiry and quotation are the first document so here uh, we'll discuss in detail about uh, the processes what we have discussed in the O2C so first we'll discuss about the inquiry document okay inquiry means uh, inquiry and quotation are the first document in SAP SD where we used to create which are the part of pre-sales uh, business process so inquiry and quotation helps to determine the important sales related data so basically it helps uh, the business to generate uh, the sales data to generate the customer data okay and can save as a document so you see like database it will be updated in the uh, business so that we can use it for the further sales process so if the customer then places an order this data can be accessed so sorry so this data can be accessed use this uh, see use this pre-sales information to plan and evaluate the marketing and sales strategies see basically the pre-sales documents whatever we use to maintain it helps the business to evaluate the marketing strategies to evaluate the sales uh, uh, strategies and as a, a basis uh, so as a basis for establishing long-term business relationship with the customer okay next we have quotation so basically quotation uh, is a legal document to the customer and it is also an external document okay so which has been sent to the customer based on his requirement so it is a legal document to the customer for the delivering the goods and services this is normally issued after an inquiry from the customer or without inquiry for the customer so next third process is sales order process so sales order is a request made by the customer to the company for the delivering of some defined quantity of goods or a services in a specific time period. So an inquiry from a customer consists of one or more item that contain the quantity of the material or service entered in the order. So basically what happens? So the sales order can be generated uh, with reference to the quotation or without reference to the quotation it contains uh, more number of quant um, uh, more number of uh, materials based on the quantity so the quantity in the sales order is further divided into business lines and comprises of various subset and delivering dates so it contains the various delivery dates whenever the customer required the delivery date based on that we can create the sales order so the item mentioned in the sales order are combined in a hierarchy and allows differentiate between batches or to use combination of the material. So all the valid conditions on these items are mentioned in the item condition. So we can maintain the item condition based on the requirement. So next we have delivery. So basically uh, in SAP SD we used to call it as outbound delivery which is required for due shipping lines okay it involves shipping activities like picking of goods transportation and scheduling okay and outbound delivery is done with the shipping points and is determined at the time of the placing of an order see shipping point will be uh, generated based on the sales order you can also define shipping point manually in the later stage. see basically what happens so whenever you are creating uh, the delivery document you can create uh, the shipping point manually or else based on the sales order it will it will pick up the shipping point automatically so next we have billing so billing is the final stage for executing the transaction when an order is processed 
and delivery is made by the billing information is available at each stage of this processing see once the product has been delivered delivered the billing will be generated later after the billing the payment part that is account receivable part will be taken care by fico consultants okay so uh, these are the major uh, uh, terminologies major uh, we can say elements of uh, order to cash process where we used to maintain uh, business processes okay so next uh, in the next slide we'll be discussing how we can uh, uh, process order to cash uh, basically see here so first uh, as i said we used to create inquiry document based on the inquiry next we used to generate uh, the sales uh, quotation then we used to create the sales order based on the sales order we used to create the delivering goods then customer billing then the incoming payment that will be taken care by fico consultant okay so uh, before uh, executing all these uh, processes so we will see first step of this training in sap s4 hana is to create an enterprise structure okay so so that enterprise structure we will be creating uh, in the next session so stay tuned for the next video so in the next video we will be discussing how to create uh, enterprise structure of sap s4 hana okay so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye bye